Top 10 Early Warning Signs You Will Die By Heart Attack Let's start with a little eye-opener. Heart attacks are more common than you might think. According to WHO, every year, millions of people around the world have a heart attack. Yup, you read that right. Millions. It's like that sneaky surprise party that nobody wants. But you know what? They're not always as sudden as they seem. Our bodies are often dropping us hints, but we tend to brush them off like they're no big deal. So let's talk about these clues. Think of it as tuning into your body's radio station, a station that's all about staying safe and sound. Let's crack this code and give your heart the love and care it deserves. Number one, chest discomfort. Our hearts are like these amazing pumps that send blood around our bodies, keeping everything ticking. But sometimes the blood flow can get blocked, often by a buildup of gunk in our arteries. Now this blockage can mess with the oxygen supply to the heart muscle, and that is where the trouble starts. When the heart muscle does not get enough oxygen, it starts sending out signals of distress. And this is where chest discomfort comes into play. Often people who are having a heart attack might feel this tightness, pressure, or even pain in their chest. There is a study called the MONICA Project, which stands for Monitoring Trends and Determinants in Cardiovascular Disease. It looked at heart disease in different populations. It found that chest discomfort or pain was a common symptom among people who later had heart attacks. It's kind of like your body's alarm system going off saying, hey, danger ahead. So if it is happening more and more often and you are feeling some other symptoms too, then you should go for a checkup and not ignore these warning signs. Number two, shortness of breath. You know that feeling when you sprint and your lungs are all, hey, slow down there, buddy? That's normal. However, shortness of breath associated with a possible heart attack is more sneaky. It can come out of nowhere, even when you're not doing anything strenuous. When your heart is not pumping blood as it should due to some blockage, that blood starts doing a U-turn and hangs out where it should not, your lungs. This extra fluid in the lungs takes up space your lungs need to do their expanding and squeezing. Also, it messes up the whole oxygen-carbon dioxide swap that your lungs handle. It's kind of like trying to blow up a balloon with a tiny hole. You might manage to get some air in, but it is a struggle, and you cannot fully inflate it. So if you ever get hit with this breathless scene, it might be smart to give your doctor a call. Remember, playing it safe is way better than being sorry. Number three, fatigue. Okay, so we all know what it's like to be tired, right? You hit the sack late, binge watch your favorite show, or maybe just had a crazy busy day at work. Normal tiredness is like, yeah, I need a nap or some coffee and I'll be good as new. Now let's talk about fatigue. We're not talking about a bit of yawn-inducing tiredness here. We're talking about when you feel like a deflated balloon, even after a full night's sleep. It's like your body is shouting, I can barely move, dude. You may find it hard to focus, and even the simplest task feels like a big mission. This happens when your arteries start acting like stubborn pipes with gunk buildup, and your heart has to put in overtime. It's like riding a car on a bumpy, uphill path. Your engine has to work way harder, and it might start showing signs of wear and tear. Similarly, if your heart is struggling to pump blood because of clogged arteries, it could make you feel worn out and fatigued. Number four, lightheadedness or dizziness. Imagine you are on a spinning amusement park ride, the kind that makes your head spin and leaves you feeling a bit woozy when you finally step off. Well, lightheadedness or dizziness linked to a potential heart attack is like that, but without the fun and games. You might suddenly feel like the world is doing its merry-go-round and you are just along for the ride. This can happen if your heart is not pumping enough blood to your brain, which, as you can guess, is not great news for clear thinking and staying upright. This symptom can sometimes even lead to fainting, which is like your body's way of hitting the emergency brakes. If you find yourself feeling lightheaded or dizzy, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms, it might be time to put that call to your healthcare provider. Number five, palpitations. Sometimes you might feel your heart beating strangely, like it's fluttering or racing. That's what we call palpitations. So why does this happen? Sometimes your heart does not get enough blood or oxygen because of a blockage or other stuff. This makes it beat in a weird rhythm. But wait, it's not just blockages. The body's response to stress involves the release of hormones like adrenaline, 
which can trigger a cascade of physiological reactions, including an elevated heart rate and palpitations. Similarly, the consumption of excessive caffeine, a stimulant found in coffee, tea, and energy drinks, can lead to irregular heartbeats. But if those palpitations come with other symptoms like chest pain, shortness of breath, dizziness, or nausea, that's when you should be more concerned. Number 6. Nausea or Vomiting The heart and stomach might seem like they are in completely different neighborhoods of your body, but they are connected by a network of nerves. When your heart is not getting the blood and oxygen it needs, these nerves might start sending mixed signals. It's like they're trying to raise the alarm by saying, hey, something's not right up here in the heart department, but they are all tangled with the stomach nerves, so the message can get a little mixed up. Instead of just giving you a straightforward heads up, your body might express this distress as that unsettled feeling in your stomach, maybe even making you run to the bathroom. But do not worry right away if you feel sick sometimes. Maybe you ate something funky or got dizzy from spinning around. Still, if you ever feel worried or those signs stick around, it's smart to talk to a doctor. Number 7. Swelling When your heart is having a tough time, one of the things that can happen is that blood might start to back up in certain parts of your body, especially in the legs, ankles, and even the belly. It's like a traffic jam on a highway. The blood cannot flow smoothly. Now here's where the swelling comes into play. When that blood gets stuck, it can cause the tissues around those areas to puff up. You know how a sponge soaks up water and gets all big and squishy? Well, your tissues can do something similar. They soak up extra fluid and expand, causing that swelling. If you notice this kind of swelling, especially if it's sudden and you did not eat a whole bag of salty chips, it might be your body's way of saying, hey, something's not quite right with your heart. It's like a red flag telling you to pay attention. Number 8. Family History and Risk Factors Imagine you're at a family reunion and chatting with your relatives about their health. If you find out that a bunch of your close family members, like your parents, siblings, or grandparents, have had heart problems or heart attacks, it's like finding some important puzzle pieces. This might suggest that there could be some genetic factors at play that make heart issues more likely for you too. Now let's talk about risk factors. Some of these factors are things you can control, and others are things you cannot. Things you can control include your lifestyle choices, like what you eat, how active you are, whether you smoke, and how stressed you are. If you're chowing down on burgers and fries every day, rarely getting off the couch, and puffing away on cigarettes, those things could suggest your risk for a heart attack might be higher. On the other hand, there are factors you cannot change, like your age and gender. As you get older, your risk naturally goes up. Men usually have a higher risk than women, but ladies catch up after menopause when hormone levels change. Number 9. Pain in other body parts So you have heard about chest discomfort, right? But here's the thing, your heart might not always stick to the script. Sometimes it decides to send its pain signals to other body parts just to keep you on your toes. You might feel pain in your arms, usually the left one but the right one is not off the hook either. It could also shoot pain down your neck, back, or jaw. This happens because the same nerves that carry pain signals from your heart also connect to these other body parts. So when your heart is in distress, these nerves can get a little overexcited and send pain signals to these areas too. It's like a chain reaction of discomfort. This phenomenon was studied in a research called the Framingham Heart Study, which found that pain in the upper body, including the jaw, neck, and back, was associated with an increased risk of heart disease. So if you ever feel an unusual ache or pain in these areas, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms, it is a good idea to pay attention and reach out for medical help. Number 10. Unexplained Anxiety Now let's talk about anxiety, that feeling of unease, worry, or fear that can creep up on you, We've all been there, right? But what if this anxiety comes out of nowhere for no apparent reason? It's like your brain is sounding an alarm, but there is no visible danger around. Well, this could be another way your body is hinting at a potential heart issue. When your heart is not functioning as it should due to reduced blood flow, it can send signals to your brain that something is missing. And your brain, in its attempt to make sense of it all, might interpret these signals as anxiety. 
It's like a miscommunication between your heart and your brain, and you end up with that uneasy feeling. If you notice episodes of unexplained anxiety, especially if they are accompanied by some of the other symptoms we have talked about, it is worth getting checked out. So there you have it, the not-so-secret code your body might use to tell you that your heart needs some extra care. Just think of it as your body's way of waving a little flag and saying, hey, let's keep this heart of ours in check. Don't worry too much, though. It's not about freaking out over every little thing your body says. Instead, think of it as listening carefully to what your body wants to share. It's like playing detective and solving a fun mystery about your heart's health. No need to panic just yet. If you ever notice these signs popping up more than just once in a while, it might be time to chat with your healthcare provider. Because when it comes to your heart, a little care and attention can go a long way. So stay heart smart, eat healthily, go for your regular checkups, and keep rocking!